It's hitting, slapping, spanking, punching, kicking, pinching, shaking, shoving, use of various objects like wooden paddles or belts, painful body postures such as closed spaces, use of electric shock, use of excessive exercise drills, or prevention of urine or stool elimination. Governor Martinez, I would like to ask you to please sign HB 172 into law. It's really important that we get rid of corporal punishment. Um, it is used disproportionately for children with disabilities, for low-income kids, and basically every professional association from doctors to psychologists to psychiatrists have agreed that the research shows that it is not a useful tool and can in fact be harmful to children. Please sign this law. Governor, I'm representing the New Mexico Council, the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. We really hope you're going to sign this bill. We want you to know that there are many great alternatives to hitting children in schools and that hitting them is never right and causes other mental health issues. We know you want to keep our kids safe and healthy and make them good learners. Our organization is really ready to help you come up with alternative solutions for discipline. My message to the governor will be to sign this bill because um, children have other other means, other ways to learn, and not only and it doesn't have to have to be um, that type of punishment by hitting them. Thank you very much. I'm a parent of a young man who has schizophrenia, serious mental illness, and when he was in school, his disabilities were a problem. He had um, behaviors that just looked like obnoxious kid behavior, but what was really happening was that the schizophrenia was beginning to manifest itself. The kids in the schools that are getting paddled are often kids who have disabilities. Uh, we're, we're losing enough of these children to serious kinds of um, practices like restraint and seclusion, but also to, to things like corporal punishment. And it's, a, it's really a disgrace that our schools still have corporal punishment as a way of dealing with um, children's misbehavior rather than identifying and recognizing that these uh, behaviors may be related to something that can't be controlled by their disability. Thank you for letting me talk.